the tour. Oh. And he's all... What is it mean, final three? All right. Is One, two, three, I suppose. Is it going to be another eviction tonight? No. Nah. <sighs> oh, my God. I'm stuck with you guys. Oh, God, we're stuck with you. <laughs> no, I'm no, stuck with you guys. we're stuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Greg, I can't believe it. Stuck oh. with two bloody idiots. After the break, our 13th evictee, Melanie, will be joining us live on stage. composed girl aren't you is yes. inside just going crazy yeah. oh my goodness you have no idea my theory my your theory, theory oh came my true i know well let's start here because you originally weren't nominated this week no. and then the three-point twist made it all yep. happen so let's look at the noms yeah and the three-point twist while you get your breath back over okay. here one point goes to melanie this week uh, at times i think she can be a little bit uh a little bit stuck up, a little bit prudish. She doesn't really want to talk to you, so you're not really, well, not really worthy. It makes you feel very pissed off that the fact that you, oh, I've done it many times and listened to her, gave her the full amount of attention. It makes you not really want to spend time with her or get to know her or tell her more important issues about your life. Who do you choose to deduct three points from? Big Brother, I choose myself. The new nominees are Logan Gregg, Vesna, and Melanie. Oh. Melanie. Oh, so you're only nominated by one I person. Know, I know. All right, so let's have a look at the tally. Okay, let's have a look, see where those points went. 59% to Mel. To somebody else oh and 12% to somebody yeah. else. So that's okay, that's a convincing oh, win. Yeah, no problem. And your theory <laughs> said that you were coming out. Yep. Yeah, now, what a difficult thing going in as an intruder. Yeah, it was, it was the craziest thing. There's all these, everybody's friends with everybody, and you walk in and you're not friends with everybody, you're like, hi, how are you going? And you had the difficult situation, as you touched on in that in the house yourself. That when you walk into the house as a girl who's whatever level of being attractive, it can put the girls offside. Yeah, Vesna hated me. She was like, I hate her. I don't want to talk to her. And she was telling all the boys whenever I spoke to them, she's like, don't speak to her. And I was like, okay, sorry. Was it still like that? Like now? What... Um, she does it as a joke now, I think. And now she's like, Greg, don't talk to Melanie. Tim, don't talk to her. Or be mean to her. And so... But how did you cope with that? Didn't it hurt? Um, I, knew, I knew it would be hard for Vesna. Um, to get to know me because she does have um, a few insecurities. But once you get to know Vesna, she is by far the greatest girl you'll ever meet. She's so funny. Well, there may have been a bit of difficulty with the girls getting to know you, but it seemed that as soon as you walked in the house, all the boys fell in love with you. So let's have a look over here. Look at the sexy I the conclusion that Mel's hot. I saw your video and everyone was like, oh, buddy. Uh, what's my best feature? Oh, I think it's your bum. <laughs> my bum? I've been caught perving at it a bit. You're a naughty boy. If we got married, mm. we'd have a restaurant and we'd own and there'd be one table which would always be there for us. Always. <laughs> Pretty nice girl. Inside and out. Yeah. Little looks there. Oh, she getting 
Walk the walk, I guess. Ah, for you? Thank you. <laughs> she can pop, she can have a crack at me, big brother, if she wants. <laughs> She's lucky. Sleeping, though. You're not sleeping. <laughs> People say to you, oh, you know, you're so attractive and things like that, right? And it's like, but I'm a person? Massively. Yeah. Massively. Oh, I, I think it's fair to say you're a very attractive woman, right? <laughs> well, you are, you are. Look at me, look at me, look at me. <laughs> Of course, when you walk into the house, I mean, I can imagine this happening. The girls feel territorial. Many of them have attachments to the boys. Yep. The boys had no mm -hmm. attachments to the girls. The boys are interested in any new person who comes in the house. What do you do? Do you befriend the boys or do you try and befriend oh. the girls? What, do you, what, did, um, what was your attack? My attack was, please, I'll just have one friend that'll do. <laughs> And that was it, Kate? Um, yeah, Kate and I got along really, really well from the start because, I don't know, Kate's just got this nature about it. She's like a mum. And Vesna, when, if you don't know Vesna, she'll be kind of like... Rrr! And all the boys, well, they were a bit scary because the girls did have these attachments and you didn't want to go near these attachments because you don't want to create enemies before you even get there. So. And a lot of people in the house were saying, oh, you're not being yourself. And, yeah. and I must say, you did blossom this week with yeah. the Chain Together task. Is that what inhibited you, the fact that it was, it was really hard to get access to people's hearts after such a long time oh. for them? It was that, and also there's lots of dominating personalities. And if I, when I come across dominating personalities, I kind of close down, I kind of go, eh. Some of the boys, when they get together in their group, they were very boisterous and in your face, and so it was a bit... And nothing Scary. makes it worse than people saying to you, you're not being yourself. Yeah. Oh. So let's have a look. It happened a lot to you <laughs> in the house. Let's have a look. It is really hard for any girl who has even remotely got some attractiveness to her yeah. to try to fit in with a group of people your own age that you don't know. Even just coming in here with the word intruder associated to you, it's hard to. Mel, um, nice chick, but I think there's a bit more behind her. You know what your problem is? No, it's a, it's You're not being yourself. Yes, I am. <laughs> this is how I act around new people that I'm not completely comfortable with. And I could be wrong, correct me if I am, but you just adopted the point of view as well. Let's sit back a little bit, yeah. see what's going on, hear what people have to say. I never jump the guns into a situation because it's not my right to. Yes. But I can't you just turned around to me and said that I'm not being myself. You're not. And you know me so well, do you? Well, from what I know of you, I think that you're not being yourself. <laughs> it's just in here how I'm adapting to meet new people, and this is how, what I do when I meet new people, you know what I mean? And especially when I'm 19 and everyone else has had so much more experience in life. When see, I, I don't, you're not being yourself. I can see you're not yourself. I see you as, um, yeah. very judgmental without yeah. knowing fact. Are you serious? Yeah. I just haven't found my spot in the group and that can be frustrating because wherever you go in life, you are in a group. Here, it's just kind of like, well, you don't really have anybody because I haven't found the, that spot yet. the journey and I still have one massive surprise from Big Brother so we'll be back with more after this. I want to vote for Mel. I think that she's an absolutely beautiful girl. She's an absolute star and she's the type of person that takes a lot of time to get to know people. So if you haven't not met her yet, I think that yep. she'll yep. totally shine. <laughs> I did think that Kate had a loving nature to her previous to coming in here and when I did come in that 